Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions, and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 20 of Code Geass today. So this last episode was really good, we got to see that all of these guys ended up in this island, and we saw that Kallen was together with Suzaku, and then uh, Zero with uh, Elfi. So yeah, it was interesting to see what they spoke about, and how Kallen was basically trying to persuade Suzaku once again, and uh, like trying to make him like join their cause. But we saw that like both of them think, uh, think very differently and they are not going to change who they are and like they can't agree with uh, how the other side is doing things. And then we saw this moment with, with Elfi and Zero and I was really surprised to see that she actually knows that Zero is Lelouch and we saw that they were talking afterwards uh, just like friends and not uh, like uh, as Zero and uh, Elfemia. Uh, so yeah, it was really nice to see that whole conversation and how they were basically, like uh, Lelouch was explaining a bit of how, uh, like what he wanted to do, and we also saw that uh, afterwards they they came up together. So we saw all of them uh, joining, and we saw that th there was going to be this trade of prisoners almost. Uh, but yeah, that didn't quite happen, and they ended up falling to this uh, like place where the other guys were doing something. There was also this uh, special nightmare, I'm not too sure about its name, uh, don't really remember it. But yeah, they managed to get away in that one, and now it's uh, like a, a really bad situation for Suzaku, because uh, what happened before uh, was um, like not good for him in terms of... Uh, like it, it, it looked to the other guys like uh, he let Zero get away and actually saved him, but that was that was because uh, Zero used that power on him. So it was uh, not entirely his fault, but I mean the other guys don't know that, so they are going to blame him. But I really hope that nothing too bad happens to him. I'm not too sure if he's going to lose uh, his position as uh, Euphemia's uh, knight. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Either way, we also saw that um, the Japanese are about to make a move, and I'm not too sure uh, what's like the, the point of this attack, but that's something that we are probably going to figure out in this episode. And yeah, in these last episodes, I've been like um, not really too sure of some things, and especially about Schneisel. Uh, I had the idea that this guy was Prince Clovis with a, a different haircut, because they are both blonde. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm really glad that right now I know that it's not him, and then again, I'm still not sure if Prince Clovis actually died or not, but that's something that's probably going to be like more clear uh, at some point. But yeah, right now it's uh, Ch uh, Schneisel, uh, the second prince, so he's basically uh, together with Cornelia, and one of the people uh, that uh, knows what happened uh, to, um, to Lelouch's parents, as we saw that when Lelouch was making uh, Clovis talk about uh, who killed uh, his parents, uh, he mentioned that uh, Cornelia and the second prince uh, know about this. So I'm not too sure if he's going to also try and target this one, because he really wants to know uh, this information. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely really curious to see uh, this next episode. So I hope you guys are ready, and let's start it. Fukuoka base. Oh, the Japanese. So this is what happened. Their move. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yep. And they're already there together with them. Hmm. I don't know what this is going to imply, but... They're definitely making a move. Quite curious to see 
the outcome of this fight. But right now I'm really worried about Suzaku. Because of what happened, I mean. It's going to be blamed for letting Zero go and missing a chance of getting him. But this also implies that um, Lelouch is not going to be able to use the power on Suzaku anymore, so... I also, like, I don't know if I missed something, but I really want to know how Euphemia realized that it was Lelouch. I don't know if it was by his actions, like she ended up figuring it out. But yeah, it was something that I was really not expecting. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Oh, damn. That was good, at least. Hmm. He told her as well. Damn. It's definitely not easy for him. Hmm. We'll see about that. Oh. Hmm. Damn. Oh. Oh. Um <laughs> what about Charlie though? 
Yeah, that piece of paper. Damn. She actually wrote that down before, and that piece of paper was there. Damn, that's so big. She still knows, despite losing her memory. Yeah, they're not really allowing her to do anything, like any decisions. Uh, poor Elfie. She's not to be blamed. It's just like... It's hard to deal with these guys. Hard for her to make a difference. Hmm... So it's actually not Japanese people attacking, it's the Chinese. Okay. I think it was implied before, but now it finally got mentioned. Hmm. Yeah, that's no easy task. Hmm... This is escalating a lot. They actually go along with this? Oh, damn. She's just a student, like... No need to treat her like that. Damn, I guess the, sec the security is really tight, but... Hmm... This upgrade, though. At least I believe it's an upgrade, right? Or is it the parts that got destroyed before? Hmm. Yeah, Avalon. That's definitely di definitely different. Hmm. Damn. 
But that's to enable him to fly. That looks really cool. Let's see what he does. Hmm, so that's the plan. And yeah, I misunderstood that at first, that it was actually the Chinese pretending to be Japanese making this attack. Damn. Yeah, helicopters are probably not going to do much against that. Oh. He managed to contact him. Are way better. Yeah, she didn't say that. Damn, they're really not confident on themselves. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, his only problem is the methods. Hmm. Nothing bad happens to him. Oh, she's going to contact Suzaku as well. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah, not after what you did. There she is. Um... I demand that you love me. <laughs> and she heard it. Damn. Yeah, that was good. And she realized that with Nina.
That's really good, but... Can't distract themselves right now. Oh... I hope this is not a death flag. I can't let this happen. Oh. Oh, it's that. Just like that. Holy... It was that... Sp yeah, that one, yeah. I wonder what's the name. I don't know if it got mentioned, but... It's CC riding it, and Zero. So that one can take two? Of course, they, they got it in the previous episode, so they still have it, yeah. That power, though. Okay, Adron, that's the name. Wait, no, that's Adron Cannon. That's the name of the Nightmare or just the attack? That was smart from them. Hmm. Oh, a battery! An energy filler. Damn! They're actually going to work together now. Hmm. This is surprising. Yeah. Yeah. He has a point there. Oh, Gawain, that was the name. It's it's actually fun because it's names of the knights from the round table. Last lot was already known, but now Gawain as well. It makes sense, it's Britannia, right? Yeah. Yep. This is actually really good for them. They're probably not going to get away. Yep. Yeah, those two are special. He got arrested. Of course. She takes the credit. Damn. Hmm.
He needs to get that back now. Become our knight again. I really hope they end up together as well. I like to see them together. I mean, as a couple. Pretty sure they love each other. Yeah. Great is. That was so nice. I mean, it was already implied that... Not implied, like... They straightforward said it, and mostly Ilfi, when she said that she loves him and demanded that uh, he loved her back. But yeah, it's probably j just their honest feelings, and I'm pretty sure that Suzaku loves her a lot as well, but... In the end, he was just really hating himself and how he's, like, always being protected and not, uh, like, um being punished for what he did. Uh, but it was really nice to see this out of Euphemia and how she made this, uh, she did this for him and for herself as well, because she cares a lot about him. And now they're together again, so yeah, that's really good. And yeah, I was like not understanding at the start. I had the idea it was actually the Japanese with like maybe the help of the Chinese, but it was actually just this guy who ran away uh, before and he found shelter in this Chinese organization or something and now he was using uh, the Chinese uh, like army uh, in order to fight against Britannia so that was basically an excuse for him to to try and take advantage of this situation and then like start fighting for Japan but yeah it's something that uh, was really not allowed by Zero and the others like, these methods of him doing things. And I really like that um, Zero stepped up and decided to stop this as well. And they actually fought together, Lancelot and uh, Zero. And, I mean, Gawain, because it's the, the name of the nightmare they are using. And I don't know, like, um, in terms of power, I believe that Gawain is probably a bit stronger than Lancelot. But I'm not too sure, because we never saw these two fighting uh, against each other. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, definitely, like, um, this Gawain uh, Nightmare is really strong, and we can see that uh, those uh, those cannons, uh, they are really powerful, and they just melt everything they touch. Uh, so yeah, it was nice to see that Zero helped uh, Suzaku, and they were actually, uh, like, joining forces, and, uh, like, not exactly joining forces, because Suzaku didn't want that, but they, they had a common goal, so they were... Uh, like working a bit together in order to accomplish it and they managed to stop this um, this like um, attack from the Chinese against Britannia so they avoided this war for now and now I'm really curious to see what happens next uh, it was really interesting as well to see that um, Gawain was like uh, I don't know if it's uh, like something that only this one is able to like uh, having two spots for two uh, people to use it like it was uh, like CC, both CC and Lelouch uh, were inside of it uh, So yeah, I'm not too sure if this is the only one that can do that I don't think Lancelot can do that because we like most of the time we only see one uh, person inside of these nightmares uh, So yeah, either way it was really nice to watch this episode really loved everything and now I'm like really curious to see what happens Apparently Cornelia got credit for what happened. Of course, they already knew that um, uh, like, it wasn't going to be known that the Black Knights uh, helped with this, but it was probably going to be a rumor, and it was, like, probably going to be spread, and some people were going to uh, know about this. Uh, but now they stopped this, and, uh, like, there's going to be a lot more things happening in the next episodes, most likely, and I don't know which kind of uh, fights we are going to see next. But yeah, it's definitely nice to see what happened between them right now, and to see that uh, Suzaku is finally feeling a bit better, and like, accepting to be Euphemia's knight again. And, yeah, in either way, I'm really excited to watch more of this uh, anime. We are close uh, to the end of this uh, first season, and I'm not too sure of, um, like, how they're going to end it. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see what's going to be the transition for the second season. I'm pretty sure that there are still a lot of things 
that are like a, a mystery and not uh, revealed yet. And uh, like I'm still thinking about this world of seas that uh, CC mentioned before, and I'm not too sure what it is about. Uh, but yeah, that's something to to understand at a later point, most likely. And right now, I just really want to focus on what's happening now and to understand as much as possible as well. And you guys can also help me out uh, with your comments uh, to explain me some things that I might be like misunderstanding, uh, as long as it doesn't spoil anything, of course. Uh, so yeah, either way, any help is welcome, as long as it doesn't spoil. I, I'm always... Um, it's always like uh, nice to get some uh, explanations about some things that I might have missed because I mean I'm watching this and it's uh, like uh, already a bit uh, complicated to understand all of the things they're talking about mostly because there's a lot of places and a lot of roles and names and people. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying my best to understand as much as possible and hopefully by the end of the season I'll be able to at least uh, understand what's happening so far. Uh, I feel like right now I have um, like at least a good idea of what's going on. Uh, but yeah, there's still a lot of things that um, are probably going to be uh, better explained. And also just remembered this moment with Shirley and how she actually wrote this paper before uh, about how she knew that uh, Zero is Lelouch. Uh, so yeah, that's something that I didn't um, uh, realize. But I believe we saw this happening, we, we saw that um, after she got away from that scene, after she realized uh, that Zero was Lelouch and she shot uh, Violetta, um, we saw that she was writing in her diary uh, before, and I don't remember the exact scene, but I don't, uh, like, I don't know if we saw her ripping the page apart and throwing it away, I'm not too sure, but we know that Lelouch um, took that diary, so basically to, uh, like, make it so uh, Shirley wouldn't know anything. Uh, but yeah, that page was still there and apparently had this uh, information about Lelouch. So I don't know exactly what she's going to do. Uh, Lelouch is probably going to be really surprised if Shirley goes to him and asks him about this because he's going to be like, he just used his power to make her forget. So how would she know? Uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens the next time these two meet together. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but yeah, it's definitely going to happen uh, at some point. And yeah, either way, can't wait to watch this next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. So, take care guys.